Yeah, I just bought here. Um, really strong reversal up after three consecutive climaxes. Um, and then we have this potential sell signal, but it's a um, it's a big bar with a small tail on the bottom, and it's also uh, near a few support areas that I have on my chart. So I don't think it's going to be a valid sell leading to a new low. So I thought it's a reasonable buy. My initial target was the top of the last sell climax, which is right here. So this was the this was the uh, the target that I was most confident about, but we were to reach that. So that makes me feel a little less confident about this trade because I don't know what the next target is. I mean, I think it could be the high of the sec the second climax, but that might be reaching for a bit too much with all the selling pressure. So I think, and this, I think this brings up a, an interesting point for me, something I'm struggling with still is, for example, in this scenario, my, um, the logical target that I see is the high of the climax, which, which we've already reached. Um, but I still feel that the setup is valid and that it probably wasn't going to lead to a new low. So something I'm battling with right now is, does that still make it a valid setup? The fact that I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know what the target is um, because the, the logical target that I see is, has already been reached. So there's no valid target for me, but I do feel like the downside is limited. So is that still a valid setup? I'm not sure. That's kind of the way I trade right now is that and I, it might be to my own detriment. I'm not sure. But sometimes I take a trade without necessarily identifying a target just because I feel like the downside is limited, which is which was the case here. Um, I felt like we weren't going to a new low right away. Um, and I didn't exactly know how high up it could go. And so I just went for 10 cents thinking that I might be risking 20 cents to make 10, but I thought the likelihood of it going to a new low was pretty low after this big reversal up and three consecutive climaxes down. So I'm not sure if I'm if I'm right or wrong in that analysis, but um, that's something I'm kind of still thinking about often to see if maybe I could change the way I, I analyze my setups and and maybe only take it if I if there's a clear target that I'm aiming for. Um, so I'm not sure. This clearly went a lot higher than than I anticipated, but I also didn't know the extent of of the upside. I didn't know how high it could go. So that's something I'm I'm consciously thinking of during my analysis to see if I'm going wrong somewhere um, when I'm finding a setup for myself. Another interesting lesson from today was uh, like during this range, uh, trading range at the beginning of the day, I kind of felt like usually when I sit down to start trading, I'm waiting for a move that I recognize on the open. And sometimes we get something like this that I don't know how to trade yet. Um, and then I feel kind of discouraged for the day because I've waited two hours and I don't recognize every, anything. And I feel like my chan my um, the chances of me forcing a trade increase significantly when the open is like this where I don't know what to do. Um, and something I've gotten better at, and I realized that today, is to just have um, a sense of calm that something will show up. Whether I, whether I analyze it correctly or not, or whether I make money on it or not, I just feel like something that I recognize, some setup that, I, that I'm familiar with, will show up as long as I'm patient. Same thing happened yesterday. We had this move here, I thought, it was a reasonable sell above this bar, but I, um, I just kind of got scared and didn't take it uh, because the risk was so big. And then we had a trading range for the rest of the day. Didn't recognize anything. And later in the day, I got this opportunity to buy up to the target. Um, so I kind of messed this trade up, but something still showed up for me. That gave me an opportunity to practice or gave me an opportunity to trade. And so, and the same thing happened today. And I think. 
that sense of calm only happens when like it's been three years now or two and a half years and I, I now i'm finally feeling that to um to really have the sense of calm in these kinds of situations and say something will come and that's a lesson that i've been taught probably a thousand times where um, all the articles i read and the people i learn from are always saying don't worry because another setup will show up and for me that didn't really happen that often i would wait for another setup to show up and then it wouldn't come because i just didn't know enough i didn't know enough setups i wasn't familiar with enough setups and i think finally i'm at the point where i can think that i can think don't worry another setup will come and and that actually happens that i can actually be calm and trust that another setup will present itself as long as I'm patient. And that's, that's a good feeling. I'm just looking for a 10 cents here. Uh, I think we're going up to at least one more new high. The next reasonable target I see is the high of the first cell climax. Um, but I'm most confident about getting at least a new high. So I'm going to take profits there. It's also 10 cents, which is my normal scalp size. Oh, what did I do there? I meant to uh, put my stop at break even because we were hesitating uh, a couple cents below my target. And instead of putting a stop order, I put in a limit order. So I ended up just taking profits um, right where the price was at that time instead of setting my stop. So I ended up only getting seven cents instead of 10. Um, still hasn't reached my target, still a couple cents below. Uh, but I was trying to lock in my stop loss so that I wouldn't lose any money on the trade. Uh, so. I'm at uh, 34 cents now for the day. Um, I think we just reached it or not quite. Yeah, we just reached it now. Uh, so missed out on three cents, not a big deal, but I should have double checked that it was on a stop order instead of a limit order.